So, you want to make a role-playing game where the player can select their own character. Or you want to create a story where a witch turns the hero into a chicken. Well, then keep watching this video, because I'll show you how easy it is to do this. If you are new to this channel, I am the Withers, the creator of RPG Playground. And this is the easiest tool to make your own role-playing games. No programming, no download, it works straight in your web browser, plus it's free. Just go to the website rpgplayground.com, register and start creating your own game. I just released a feature where you can use an action to change the appearance of any character. So first let's see how you can let your player choose their own hero. So we're starting with an empty game here. I'm gonna make some platforms. So let's use the ref map outdoor. All the way to the bottom, you have this thing. You can use something else, of course, but let's just place four of these here, okay? Now let's do four characters, two warrior characters and two wizards. So first, we'll just pick for the hero a warrior character, then we'll add a female warrior character. Let's just pick this one. All right. Then a male wizard. Maybe here. Yeah, that looks like a good one. And then a female wizard. Let's pick this one. All right. So now we have four characters that the player can choose from. So first what we're going to do is we're gonna add an invisible floor switch underneath the hero. And then we're gonna remove the actions of that floor switch and we're gonna insert one. The floor switch is gonna give choices for and what is it first going to ask? Pick your hero. Next, first one. A male warrior, female warrior, then male wizard and female, oh, female wizard. Finish. All right, let's fix this. So we have four things to choose from. What we do, the male, when the user picks the male warrior, then nothing needs to change because it's already, the hero is already a male warrior, female warrior. We're gonna insert an action here. It's gonna be the hero that does something and it will change the appearance too. And then we'll pick the female warrior here. I think I picked this one, okay. Same for the male wizard, insert an action. The hero will change the appearance too. And it's this character. And then the last one, the female wizard. So the hero will change appearance too. The, this wizard, okay, that looks good. So let's find out if this is actually doing what you want it to do. Okay, we restart the game. Restart game. Okay, we enter the game. We see four characters here. The player doesn't know which is the hero because there's no distinction there. And first stop is pick your hero. Male, warrior, female. The four options. So let's pick female wizard. We pick that one and you can see our hero changes to this one. Now, of course, we don't want our player to remain here. So let's quickly fix that. We create a new level. Let's do an outdoor level. We can place an invisible door here. Wait a sec. Let's place this door here. Okay, let's name it start door. All right. Go back to this level and go to the floor switch 
And at the very end, we will insert another action and that is our hero will teleport to the level one, the starting door. Yes. Okay, that should work. So what we do is we restart the game. See our hero is back to the warrior. Let's pick one female wizard. All right, and we can start our game. And now the hero or the player has the hero that he or she chose. Before we continue, I just want to ask you to like this video. And of course, if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. It would help me out a lot. So if you can do that right now, that would be great. So for the second part, we want to create a witch that turns the hero into a chicken. Now, I didn't create this level. This level was created by one of our users called Chester and it's from the game called Tricks, Trees and Presents. I'll put a link in the description below. So if you want to play that game, go right ahead. Now, let's first add the witch here. Let's also add some flames around her. Where are the flames? Here, here here and here now we're gonna adapt them that they're not doing anything not attacking the hero like that all right same for the second one and the third one All right, now they're not doing anything. I will add a floor switch here. And what this floor switch will do is it will disable these flames. So on touch, insert an action, this flame becomes inactive this flame becomes inactive and let's go a bit up this flame becomes inactive all right cool let's test it out yeah flames are gone great so now the witch let's also create her behavior Ah, wait, I'll see. Ah, no, she's not patrolling. That's good. Remove the action. Insert an action. She will say something. It was wrong for you to come here. Next. So first she says this, and then we will activate these flames again. So this flame becomes active. This flame becomes active and that flame becomes active. And then she will say, now you will bear the consequences. All right. And then we insert an action and the hero it's of course the hero can change appearance, but basically any character can change appearance. So you can also have other actors uh, turn into other things. So you're totally free to do whatever you want. But in this case, it's again the hero that changes its appearance to a chicken. And finally, she says, Now go and spend the rest of your life like this. Next. And then let's make those flames inactive again. Becomes inactive. Okay. 
So let's try it out. So let's see if it works. The hero steps up to this creature. It was wrong for you to come here. Then you see the flames there. Now you will bear the consequences. And you turn into a chicken. Now go and spend the rest of your life like this. And that's done. And as you can see, the hero is now a chicken. And of course, now he has to go on the chicken quest to become human again. So I would say go try it out right now. There's a link below this video that points to rpgplayground.com. So create your own account there and start creating your own RPG. All right, have fun. Bye.